What is up YouTube, XDG here, back again with another video on the GTA X channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to install the latest GTA Save Editor 3.0.1.0, which was released two days ago. But first, we're going to talk about something that's been going on for the last two weeks or so, and that is the confusion surrounding Save Wizard and the GTA Save Editor. So on May 4th or so, Save Wizard posted on their Twitter, it has come to our attention that GTA Save Editor and possibly other associated software from X3T Infinity slash XB36 Hazard has been observed stealing and using information from installed versions of Save Wizard for PS4 Max. We have reached out and received no reply. Any software from this site should be removed immediately. We will be making changes to protect our product and customers which may include, but is not limited to, some customers needing to reactivate their save wizard for PS4 Max. Please note that your license key itself is secure. I'm going to read that again. Please note that your license key itself is secure. This should never be shared or used in any application that isn't available from savewizard.net. We will never ask for your full license key. No further comment will be made. Now, some communication has occurred between the two parties, which resulted in XB36 Hazard removing the decrypt function from the GTA Save Editor software. What the hell is the decrypt function, some of you may ask, because I for one had no idea what it was on the Save Editor. So right here, we are on the old version 3.0.0.2 of the Save Editor. And if you come down right here, you'll notice this option which says PS4 Saves. I kind of noticed this, but I never paid attention. I really don't do a lot besides make modded outfits or modded cars. But if you go ahead and hit right here, you'll see that the GTA Save Editor actually had a function where you could decrypt your PS4 game save. So if you are new to Save Editor and Save Wizard, your PS4 game saves must be decrypted. Now this function is primarily done by the Save Wizard, which is why I never noticed this option right here in the Save Editor. So this option was available in version 3.0.0.2. Once again, it does not take your license key. I've seen a lot of people saying that it's taking your license key. No, it's not as you read in the tweet earlier. But anyway, this was the problem right here. And now in the new version, it is gone. So we're going to go ahead and actually remove this version from our PC and install the new version so I'm going to go ahead and advise you guys to wait until save wizard says this software is okay to be used on the same device you have your save wizard installed on what I suggest if you can go ahead and run both programs on different computers or you can go ahead and create a partition in your hard drive all right so we're going to go ahead and take this off our computer and install the new version now each time i do one of these videos there's questions on the resourcesmaster.db you'll find everything you need in the description below all right guys so i'm going to go ahead and get out of here don't forget to share this video in the gta community so that people know there is a new version of the gta save editor that excludes this function right here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace out Wow. Alright guys, so I had to come back because I was not expecting this right here. On the X3T Infinity website, he is actually recommending Save Wizard for the program. I mean, you literally can't do anything with this on the PS4 unless you have Save Wizard. So, big shout out to Hazard for doing that. Um, I hope both parties have reconciled because honestly, yeah, I do appreciate what both of these softwares have to offer. The GTA Save Editor is very valuable to the GTA community. But like I said before, if you are on PS4, you will need the Save Wizard. Now I know the big problem is Save Wizard costs $60, but hey, it does a lot supports more than 1100 games on the ps4 not just gta and you really gotta ask yourself if this software has been out since october 1st 2013 and it's may 16th 2020 why hasn't there been free software made to decrypt ps4 save files think about it guys <laughs> that's seven years well, let's get back to the install
like I'm in the pool.